Earlier last month, Rockstar made an announcement for both GTA Online and Red Dead Online, and I wanted to share my thoughts. Welcome back, friends, to another insanely awesome video. And in this one, as previously mentioned, I want to discuss Rockstar's bombshell of an announcement. Um, before we get into this video, guys, if you enjoy the content here on the channel, remember to show your support by dropping a like on the video as well as subscribing. Make sure you also click that bell to stay notified when new content does go up. Um, also, don't forget to go over to my Facebook page and follow me there. Um, I do do giveaways for new games as my way of giving back to you guys. Link to that all will be in the description box above. Getting into the topic at hand, unless you have been absent, or maybe you're like me and sometimes you have your head in a hole in the ground, um, Rockstar Games made a shocking announcement on their official Newswire page. On July 7th, Rockstar announced a change in content provided to Red Dead Online. Now let's talk about what we do know. A lot of us have been playing GTA Online and many other AAA Rockstar titles for quite some time. Now, some of these thoughts and insights are coming from experience with the game developer. Rockstar in the past has made the very same changes described in their posts to other titles like GTA Online and even Red Dead Redemption. As for the post, it reads, Over the past few years, we have been steadily moving more development resources towards the next entry into the Grand Theft Auto series, understanding more than ever the need to exceed players' expectations, and for this, the next entry to be the best it can possibly be, and as a result, we are in the process of making some changes to how we support Red Dead Online. A full link to the announcement will be linked in the description box above. Dissecting the post, we can assume that this announcement is meant as a temporary sort of situation. Per my perception of the announcement, taking into account the history with the developer, they have done this sort of thing before. With GTA Online in the past, content was put on the back burner, so to speak, while they focused on the release of Red Dead Redemption 2, as well as Red Dead Redemption Online. Besides having done this before, Rockstar has also taken notice of trending tweets on social media, such as hashtag Save Red Dead Online or even hashtag Red Dead Funeral. Rockstar, like many other companies, could potentially be swayed by public opinion. Um, realizing the importance of supporting this game, loved by a great many of us, it is very plausible that Rockstar will find a way to support both games. Um, whether that be through hiring more staff, or even potentially pushing the release date for GTA 6 out um, further, who could say? Um, also trending on social media are tweets and comments aimed at shaming Rockstar for the decision and loss of a great majority of their player base. With so many people disappointed in Rockstar, how many will even be left to see the release of the newest GTA title? Keeping in mind these are some of my thoughts and opinions on the announcement made, go down in the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. Do you think this was a distasteful decision? Or are you confident Rockstar will return with more or even better content? Let me hear your guys' thoughts. Um, remember guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like as well as subscribing for future content. As always friends, I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.